hello guys so welcome again to my youtube channel and today we are here in our last topic here in the tape correction and here we are in the combined correction so i make here a summary of our discussion in our past topics so here is our correction due to incorrect tape length the temperature sag slope polar tension and the mean c level so to give a brief summary in our incorrect tape length correction our operation to be used is positive or negative and it depends on the condition the measured tape too long and then we should add and measured tape too short and we subtract and layout tape too long we subtract and tape uh, layout tape too short and we add so ito yung ating mnemonics dun sa ating lesson number 1 and for the temperature our operation to be used is positive or negative or add or subtract I mean. and then this is our formula and then nagbavary ang ating sign when it depends on the observed temperature so yun ang ating summary dito sa correction due to temperature and then when it comes to sub or sub correction our operation to be used was uh, only subtraction and then we have here our condition big w equals to small w times l and then by squaring this we will get here and then we can substitute in this equation so ito yung isang condition natin kung ano yung given na weight natin weight per unit length or weight of the tape in the total total distance ng tape and then our sag correction this must be solved by part yung diniscuss natin last time na kung ilan yung ating mga supports ganun din kadami yung ating magiging mga correction for the sag okay and then here in our slope our operation to be used is also subtraction but in this condition we have the gentle slope which is uh, less than 20% for the correction due to slope and between 20 to 30% is the steep slope and greater than 30% is the very steep slope and here is our formula to be used and then for the pull or tension our operation to be used is positive or negative and our condition here depends on the applied pull kung mas malaki ang applied pull natin um, addition yung gagamitin natin but kung mas maliit so subtraction so ganun lang kasimple yung topic natin dito and then for the mean C level it is also positive or negative and lagi namang above mean C level yung nakagamit natin sa mga sample problem natin okay so let us proceed to our combined correction problem so here we are so we have a line so habang binabasa natin tong instruction so isulat rin natin yung mga given so here is our given sabayan natin yung pagbabasa so a line was determined to be 2395.25 meters so that is our measured length which is 2395.25 meters and then our nominal length is 30 meters dahil ito yung sinabi dito when measured with the 30 meters steel tape supported throughout its length under a pull of 4 kg So, ito yung ating observe observe pool. Okay, kasi yun yung sabi niya, kapag wala siyang sinabing standard, so ibig sabihin, yun yung ating applied. And our observed temperature is 35 degrees Celsius. And determine the corrected line. Corrected line if the tape use is of a standard length so ito yung standard temperature natin 20 
degrees Celsius and a pull of so mas maliit yung pull natin dito so dito pala nakikita natin na negative na yung magiging pull correction natin and our cross sectional area is 0 0.03 square centimeter and then our coefficient of linear expansion is 0 0.0000116 per degree celsius and our modulus elasticity, elasticity is 2.0 times 10 raised to 6 kilogram per square centimeter okay so by looking at our given so unang may isip natin dito is kailangan nating hanapin yung ating correction due to temperature and then ano ba yung mga given natin dito sa, sa due to temperature we are going to use this observed temperature the standard temperature the coefficient of linear expansion and ano pa ba and syempre yung ating measured line so nagamit na natin yung ating mga idea dito sa um, correction due to temperature and how about dun sa ating isa so ano ba yung formula na meron tayong P sub M, P sub S so ito yung formula natin for the pull correction so ano mga given so we have the 4 kilogram the 5 kilogram our area of the cross-sectional area of the tip and then the uh, modulus elasticity okay so ayun, nagamit naman natin lahat so yung nominal length is uh, can, we can disregard that kasi hindi na, wala naman tayong sub-correction dito so, ang kailangan natin dito is yung correction due to temperature, correction due to uh, pull and then we can come up to our corrected length okay so unahin na natin yung correction due to temperature we have coefficient of linear expansion multiplied by the measured length observed temperature minus the standard temperature so idiretso na natin sa calculator yan so our c is points 0.000116 multiplied by our length is 2395.25 multiplied by our observed temperature is 35 our standard temperature is 20 and equals we got so it is in positive so positive 0.42 meters and that's our correction due to temperature. Paano naman yung sa correction due to pull natin? We have P sub M minus P sub S multiplied by our measured length over area times the cross-sectional area. So, let us get our C sub P. So, substitute lang natin yung mga values. We have P sub M, ang given dito is 4 kilogram and P sub S is 5 kilogram our measured line is 2395.25 and then our area is 0 0.03 square centimeter and our modulus elasticity is 2.0 times 10 wait na lang, times 10 raised to 6 okay so okay na tayo sa formula ang answer natin dito is negative dahil yung P sub M natin is mas maliit kaysa sa standard. Okay? So, we have 0 0.04 meters. So, nakuha na natin yung correction due to temperature and correction due to pull. We can now solve for our corrected length. So, our measured line. So, add lang natin lahat ng corrections. Uh, add or minus lang natin lahat ng corrections na na-compute natin so C sub L our measured line is 2395.25 plus yung ating correction due to temperature minus yung 0.04 natin and to solve 
we have 2395.25 plus 0.42 minus 0 0.04 and we will get 2395.63 So, ito yung ating magiging final answer dito sa problem na to. So, kapag nasusolve tayo ng combined correction, we only observe on the following given. Then, iisipin lang natin dito sa mga formula na binigay kung ano yung pwede nating gamitin. Okay? So, let us try to solve another problem. So, we have a sample problem here. So, gawin lang natin ulit yung parang ginawa natin kanina. Isabay na natin yung pagsulat ng given sa pagbasa ng ating uh, question. So, we have a 50 meter tape. So, this is our nominal length which is 50 meters. Was standardized and was found to be 0 0.042 too long. So, ito na yung ating correction. So, let us what is as si Sabel 0.0042 meters too long so hindi natin alam kung anong correction yan so hindi, basahin pa natin yung question that the standard length at observed temperature so observed temperature natin is 58 degrees celsius and the pool so para sa observe yan so Magkasunod na statement kasi yan. So, our observed pool is 15 kg. And if the same tape, sabi niya, was used to measure a certain distance and was recorded. So, let us say this is our situation 1. And uh, this is our situation 2. Okay. So, magkaiba sila ng, ng pangyayari. So, if the same tape was used to measure a certain distance, the measured line, oops, let's change its color. Our measured line is 673.92 meters and our observed temperature now is 68 degrees Celsius. So, ano pang given? And a pool of 15 kg pa rin and the coefficient of linear or I mean the coefficient of thermal expansion is 0 0.0000116 per degree celsius and then ang inahanap dito sa problem is our standard temperature or yung tisa best our total correction so see Si sub, so, si Sabel na lang. And our true length. Or yung ating corrected length. Okay, let us try to solve this problem. So, sa situation number 1, isipin natin kung ano yung pwede natin gamitin na equation. So, may given tayong temperature, pero wala naman tayong mga given na area. So, pwede natin i-disregard tong ating pool given dito. Okay? So, it... Uh, ibig sabihin, itong correction na to pala is para sa correction natin for the temperature correction. So, we have C sub T is equal to C sub uh, C times L multiplied by T minus T sub S. So, ano ang hinahanap natin dito? Yung ating standard temperature. Okay? So, ito yun. Yung T sub S. And then, our correction is in a positive 0 0.0042 equal to so meaning mas malaki ang ating observed temperature okay kasi tape too long siya and then for our correction ay our coefficient of thermal expansion it is 0 0.000116 multiplied by length which is 50. So, 50 lang ilalagay natin dito kasi ito yung sa situation number 1 natin. And then, our observe is 58. And then, meron tayong unknown na standard 
na temperature. And we know that our x is equal to the T sub S. So let us just get this. So 0 0.0042 equals to 0 0.000116 times 50 and 58 minus our x. And shift call shift solve, we can get 50.76. 50.76 degrees Celsius. So, ito yung magiging sagot natin for our letter A for the standard temperature. And for letter B, um, the total correction. So, yung total correction na hanapan natin is for the measured line of 673.92. So, still, we are going to ignore our pool kasi wala naman tayong ibang given hindi rin siya pwedeng sag kasi wala naman siyang given na na di na supports so we are going to use C sub T is equal to C L T minus T S and then substitute our values so ang unknown natin this time is our C sub T so our coefficient of thermal expansion is 0 0.000116 Multiplied to our L is 673.92 meters. And then, our observed temperature is 68 degrees Celsius. But this time, we found out our standard temperature is 50.76 degrees Celsius. Okay? So, kaya dun papasok yung ating situation. So, 0 0.000116 multiplied by 673.92 and 68 minus 50.76 and we can get our answer into 0.1348 so it is in positive 0.1348 meters so this is our total correction for this problem and how about to do we how do we get our true length of the line so using our equation corrected length is equals to the measured line positive or negative the correction due to temperature we can get our answer into 673.92 meters so addition yung operation natin dito and we add 0.1348 meters and then equals so 673.92 eh, plus 0.1348 it is 674.05 meters So that's it for our answer here in our sample problem number 2. So dito kapag gusto nating or kapag nalilito tayo kung ilang uh, significant figures yung kailangan natin i ilagay sa ano bago natin makuha yung final answer natin. Mas maganda is kunin natin ng buo yung ating mga decimal places. Kaya uh, mas advisable ko na mag store store tayo dito para hindi tayo masyadong magkamali sa mga decimal points. Kasi doon tayo nagkaka iba na sagot and nagpa-vary yan sa mga choices natin during our board exam. So, okay. So, thank you for listening for this uh, tape correction topic. And I would like to greet all my fellow geodetic engineering colleagues na magte-take ng board exam this coming October 6 to 7 so good luck to you guys and don't forget to pray hard and review hard so may, may the force be with you so kaya kaya nyo yan okay so thank you for watching and god bless everyone